Okay, welcome all. Um, now for today, I want to do two things. I want to talk about structured output prediction and about tracking. The tracking because it is an interesting application in its own right and it, because it can serve as a running example in what I want to say about structured learning. Now, first of all, what is what is this? So, header for today is uh, structured learning. We have to differentiate uh, between flat or unstructured predictions. This is what you learn in a normal or let's say in a beginner's class about machine learning. Uh, the aim here is to predict uh, that's a great sentence. Unstructured predictions predict either a class or a category for each input that is the the aim of classification, or it can predict a single number, which is the aim of regression. And in contrast to that, we have structured predictions, and without calling them that, this is what we've been talking about for much of this semester. example of structured predictions are uh, pretty much everything else so for example if you want to predict a curve which could be a curve of uh, varying length or if you want to predict an image let's say in denoising or if you want to predict uh, an image labeling in terms of foreground, background, or, or in terms of more classes, or if you want to predict a graph. So let's say the input is an image, and the desired output is some kind of graph, and the, the images can be of varying size, and the graphs to be estimated can be of varying size. Uh, all of these are objects, the elements of which are interrelated. And in many applications, the ultimate desired output is structured. So let me give an example first for unstructured. Let's say in an industrial quality control, you want to know, you know, is the part good or should it be discarded? Um, so binary answer is enough, just yes or no. But for example, if you want to know what would be the optimal location for a dam against uh, inundations that you want to build that would be uh, an example of a structured prediction that you're trying to make and we spent um, the last few weeks while i was here discussing how to make structured predictions using markov random fields and we were then discussing only the inference, so the optimization of such a Markov random field, how to find the optimum assignment to the variables. But we're not talking about the learning of, of the parameters. And this is exactly the, the focus of today. So Markov random fields are not the only way to make a structure prediction. But if I take Markov random field as an example, then we have so far discussed inference. So finding the most probable state of the unobserved variables given some input or given some observed variables and given parameters. I will write that down. So we want to find the most probable or the least energy state of some 
unobserved set of variables. Give an input and the parameters, which are implicit in the potentials that we used in the energy functions. And also given the structure of the MRF. So I will write factorization here to summarize what the structure of an MRF looks like. And that is a distinct task from the parameter learning. Or structured learning. Which we talk about today. Um, so the aim of the structured learning is to find the optimum values for those parameters. Given some training set. And these tasks are distinct from structure learning. So above we had structured learning. There's also the problem of structure learning, which we'll not talk about in this course. So structure learning is um, about finding out what the proper factorization is in the first place. This is done in particular for directed graphical models or for Gaussian Markov random fields. You remember that in Gaussian Markov random fields, we have a precision matrix and the non-zero entries in this precision matrix uh, tell us where we have uh, non-trivial, where we have interactions. And the aim of structure learning is to find out, for example, in such a precision matrix, which elements are zero in the first place. Today, however, we will talk about not structure learning, but structured learning. 